Hello everyone. On reaching Rishikesh bus stand, I took an auto and went to Zostel at Tapovan. I had booked this through booking.com. My stay in the dorm was very comfortable. At 5 pm, took a shared auto and reached Triveni Ghat. Rishikesh is a holy city near Dehradun in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is situated on right bank of river Ganga. It is known as world capital of yoga and meditation and also a gateway to the Garhwal Himalayas. On day 2, we left Rishikesh at 7 in the morning for Govind Ghat in a tempo traveler. We crossed the towns Dev Prayag, Srinagar, Rudra Prayag, Chamoli, and Joshimat. Dev Prayag is the place where holy rivers Alaknanda and Bhagirathi merge into one and takes the name Ganga. We also crossed the famous Dhari Devi temple en route. It took us almost 10 hours to reach Govind Ghat. There are many budget hotels here and during peak season they are all full. After resting for some time, we visited the Gurudwara at Govind Ghat. Before an early dinner, we hired porters to take a backpack to Ghangriya the next day in the morning. On day 3, we embarked on a beautiful trek at 8 am from village Pulna, which is 4 km from Govind Ghat. I was carrying enough water, snacks, rain cake and warm clothing as weather changes quickly here. Helicopter service is also available from both Govind Ghat and Gangriya in weather permits. One way cost of the ride is 3000 rupees per person. It can be booked online or through a travel agent. Most of the way is uphill. A lot of palkis, pitthus and horses fly on the way. This is a trek where a lot of people are pilgrims to Himkun Sahib rather than trekkers, which is an interesting mix. On the way, there are several small shops selling refreshments and snacks. The trek was moderate and it offered breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains, waterfalls, streams and dense forests. It took me 8 hours to complete the trek along with few stops for tea. Ghangriya also called Gobindham, is at 10,200 feet compared to Gobind Ghat at 5,500 feet. It is the meeting point of Pushpavati and Hem Ganga rivers. Ghangriya is a bustling village with a popular Gurudwara. It serves as a base camp for Valley of Flowers and Hemkund Sahib trek. Ghangriya has lot more stay options with in-house restaurants compared to Govind Ghat. Also, there are several shops and restaurants serving Punjabi, Chinese, South Indian and Garhwali dishes 
due to the growing influx of pilgrims, tourists and trekkers. Body and leg massage options are also readily available after trekking back to the base camp here. I stayed in Hotel Devlo, which is in the center of the village. Very neat and comfortable rooms. It also served tasty and nutritious food at the in-house restaurant. Most hotels here do not have geysers. For taking bath, one bucket for rupees 100 was provided to us in the morning. I had an Airtel SIM and mobile connectivity was good.